Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. We're less than 24 hours away from Heartland Hoops, but tonight we hit the mat for some high school wrestling at Sykeston. Luke Randall reports. Sykeston Wrestling may not have the history of a powerhouse program, but it may be only a matter of time before that changes. Uh, here in the next five, five to ten years, I'd expect to see a good surge out of just our local and youth wrestling between here and Dexter and uh, Jackson. Just a lot of kids putting in that off-season work, and you know, that's what it takes, especially nowadays. Head coach Blake Angle and other wrestling coaches are putting more into youth programs, and they're starting to see the payoff. You're going to see a lot more wrestlers coming through with uh, a lot more experience. Another big reason the team is rallying, the positive culture that's in part built by the students. I stay motivated by pushing myself and then pushing others um, on our team. When we feel like we can't, we don't got enough, we just got to look for each other, give each other motivation to help us fight through this. And hopefully we'll just keep going, then season be over. And as the Bulldogs close in on districts, many are setting their sights high. Well, I want to be a three-time state uh, qualifier and maybe a state placer. And I'd like SEMO conferences this weekend to be a two-time champ. And with what the Bulldogs are building, the sky's the limit. At Sykeston High School, Luke Randall, Heartland Sports. All right, good to see all the hard work going into the Bulldogs program. Meanwhile, Heartland Hoops back tomorrow night. They're going to be working hard on the court. Jackson plays at Cape Central, a rematch of the championship game of the Christmas tournament. Tigers won that one. The Indians will try to win this one. Notre Dame pays a visit to Saxony Lutheran. That should be quite an atmosphere. And also nearby rivals Haytai and Carothersville meet in a boys-girls doubleheader. We turn to Southern Illinois for the Superman Classic at Massac County High School. Viana and Goreville play in the first semifinal, followed by the Patriots and Charleston Blue Jays, a border battle at 7.30. Oran visits Bell City on homecoming. And again, all your scores and highlights tomorrow night at 10 on Heartland Hoops. Now this is a spirited send off appropriately enough at Jackson High School for the cheer team. They already won a state title. They've done well in national competition this morning. They left for the Nationals in Dallas. Jackson will compete this weekend and really should be awesome but, uh, to see how well they can do. They have a great team, great coaches, and will be going for a state championship. Good luck to them. We'll also talk about some other Heartland teams that are going. I just learned that East Prairie's heading to Nationals. Uh, I believe they're leaving tomorrow. We'll be talking more about that in the upcoming days. I know you're ready for some baseball, right? Cardinals have announced tickets for their home opener. Uh, April 4th against the Miami Marlins go on sale in the morning at 10 o'clock. Opening day tickets can be purchased online via phone at the Bush Stadium uh, box as well. Box ticket office box in person, of course. They start at $49. Uh, tickets are limited to eight per person, available until, of course, they sell out. Uh, the Cardinals home opener features a pregame ceremony with a motorcade, introduces the 2024 roster, and honors the club's Hall of Famers, along with some other festivities that really celebrate this special occasion. If you've been to opening day, I've been to quite a few, nothing quite like it at Bush Stadium. And this sale marks the first time the club scheduled a standalone date specifically for opening day tickets. By the way, single game tickets for remaining regular season games at Bush Stadium go on sale next Friday.